I didn't spill coffee down my nuts, Fanstino. It was on my table. Fuck you. <laughs> Bear with me, folks. Just drinking coffee. Good morning. Welcome. <sighs> yes, indeed, Hiroto. Now that the PC's been upgraded, hopefully you'll be able to read the text. Can you read that clearly? Welcome, Xenos. Welcome very much. Uh, welcome indeed, Xenos. It's a bit loud, actually, so I'm just gonna... Just gonna turn that down a notch. Video Maybe. enhancement, God. Yes, lady, you're also very loud. Okay, hang on. Uh, turn OBS down just a tad there. Then do that. Turn that down just a notch. And then go into OBS and compensate by turning up the in-game audio by a couple of decibels. Hang on. I can't seem to select it. There we go. Right. Lovely jubbly. Good morning. Good morning, Arrow Boy. Welcome, folks. Uh, good morning, Invader Zimb and uh, JSR and uh, Doug is alive. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely Wednesday. Is it Wednesday already? It is Wednesday already. The last two days have gone up very, very quickly owing to the fact that I was quite productive on the editing, in fact, so the day just whizzed by. Both days whizzed by. Um, but yes, welcome, and, uh, well, I hope your January's going okay, uh, and good luck to anybody sticking to any New Year's resolutions. I hope, you, uh, I hope you've been able to. I didn't really make an official New Year's resolution, but I do need to reduce the amount of sugar I consume. Seriously, it's getting really bad. Um, I'm not like a 20-year-old anymore. I can't have that much sugar and caffeine a day. I've got to sort my shit out, basically. Um, I did go, uh, to, my, it, to my credit, in my defense, I did do like most of like 20, I think it was 22 days of a diet uh, in which I had no sugar, but I need to do better. I need to seriously reduce the amount of sugar. Anyway, but yes, um, but yeah, over here, uh, just sorry, just sipping coffee. Can I just sip this coffee? Sorry. Over here, I'm just trying to wake up. Thank you, Laser Bra. Thank you very much, Laser Bra. Uh, I set my alarm nice and early. I was like, yes. Then the alarm went off, and I was like, yes. Then I closed my eyes. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so, yes. Um, <clears throat> the most dangerous game in the world, closing your eyes. Uh, just after the alarm goes. Um, yeah, so I suck, evidently. And then, of course, I spilt coffee down my desk, Vastino. Not my, not my nuts. Vastino said I spilt it down my nuts. Indeed, Arrow Boy. I try my best, but in my again, in my own defense, there is a lot of chat. There, there is a hell of a lot of chat. If I sit there reading it, I'm never going to talk about anything in the game. Speaking of which, welcome to X3 Albion... Wait, Albion Reunion? No, Albion Pre... What is it called again? Albion Prelude, that's the one. Sorry, uh, I'm confused because they keep changing the damn... There's like a new expansion pack every whatever. So it was like X3, and then it was X3, the Terran Conflict, and then it was X3, Albion Prelude. Then it was X3, Salad Bowl, or so whatever. But uh, yes, it just they like, keep modifying what it is because what they've done is they've made X3 as a sort of sandbox. And then they keep adding expansion packs, although I presume they've done now, of course, because they've moved on two games from now. But they keep they keep adding like expansion packs to the sandbox to enhance various different elements of it or uh, continue the storyline. But there's not that much story. It's mostly just a big aquarium. Um, so for those who have no idea what this is, no idea what's going on. Uh, this, that's not it. This is X3. So what you're seeing here are sectors. So individual sectors of space, for this is a space trading game. Well, space trading, fighting, piracy, uh, war game. It's, it's, a, it's a great big aquarium in which this company, this German company called, I can't remember the name. Something Silver? Quicksilver? Something Silver. Deep Silver. They got silver in their name. 
uh, they basically made a big, um, like, a thriving AI-controlled single-player environment split up into sectors across space, consisting of many different alien races with their own independent economies, planets, which you can't really go to, but you can go near, as in to their space stations, like Freelancer. Well, no, that's not true. Freelancer, you can land. Um, but also uh, with their own, I said, their own resource requirements and uh, and um, economic upswings, that sort of thing. And um, your role is to play as a well, as a corporation. You can set up your own corporation and uh, make space profit, really, by uh, tweaking and tugging at the strings of the uh, of this virtual economy in pretty pretty cool ways. Um, I do enjoy this. Thank you, uh, Squarish and VT Pirates. Thank you very much. And Scuzo and Vanstino and CubeSec. That's very kind of you all. Thank you very much. Deep Silver's the publisher. Sorry, Egosoft is the developer. My bad. Thank you, Mind Warp. Thank you very much, Mind Warp. Sorry, let me just neck this coffee. Right. Oh. Oh. Get comfortable. Will I try X4? I don't know. I have no idea. Um, depends if it's any good, and depends if I get bored of if I get bored of X3. So um, to explain, um, so of the sectors of space, it's not very obvious uh, from the overhead map here. But of the individual sectors, we have Argon space, which consists of humans, effectively humans that in this storyline have basically gone through a wormhole from Earth and settled at a different in a different part of the galaxy. So there's the humans here. Called the Argon. Down here we have the Paranid, who are basically sort of religious zealot type um, preacher aliens. We have the Split, who are basically the Klingons, so like a, a warrior, like a, a warrior. Well, like a well, maybe not the Klingons. Maybe maybe more like the Romulans, as in just a very aggressive um, and uh, bellicose uh, alien race. We have the Boron, who are what are the Boron like? I suppose they're a bit like the Calamari from Star uh, Star Wars in the very organic ship designs. They grow their ships rather than build them. Uh, they're also uh, very timid. Uh, they don't like conflict, that sort of thing. Um, who else is there? So we've got the Split, the Boron, the Argons, the Paranid. Uh, oh yes, the uh, Taladi, who are basically the Ferengi. They they are quite. They are a copy paste job, almost exactly. Uh, the Ferengi are here. Uh, Taladi are here. And uh, yeah, and of course the rest of space is uh, sort of a hodgepodge of different claims made across. So they've gone this way, and like the Split have got that bit, the Paranoids have got that bit. As in, all the different empires have sort of run off and um, and, and claim different areas of the galaxy, which is fucking huge. And I haven't even finished exploring it yet. Thank you, Mother Min. Thank you very much. Uh, in addition, you'll notice that here there's an ongoing conflict, which is the storyline of the. Uh, of the uh, Albion Prelude and the Terran Conflict expansion packs in which uh, it turns out that the, the original Earth is actually over here and a, a battle has started with them because now the societies are so different or something and uh, yeah basically that's a war there's a big war going on with Argon versus the uh, well Earth Terrans thank you Prezi thank you very much Prezi anyway as for me I am over here, I'm in Paranid space, as is my corporation. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to the Soviet Womble Catering Company. Yes, providing delicious snacks and nutritious beverages across all of Paranid space and beyond. Uh, we also uh, sort of dabble in weapons dealing, which is random, but we do. Uh, and effectively, uh, I am trying to make space profit for my corporation. Uh, if you go beneath the stream, uh, you will find, it's similar to RimWorld, you will find a Google Sheet which has a list of all of the active employees of my corporation and where they are and what they're doing and whether or not they're alive or dead. Because <laughs> we have had uh, accidents. <clears throat> Looking at you, Oros, uh, who had a shipping accident and lost about 50 million. Cunt. Thank you, Prezies. Thank you very much, Prezies. Um, I'm hurting your brain. Sorry, Ro. Uh, it, it's simple enough. But basically, I am a company that's trying to make money by selling, like, oil They're like food oil as in vegetable oil really um, right okay and uh, for that role as you can see I'm sitting in this extremely powerful military missile frigate called the NEP um, 
Yes. So, uh, well, it's called the net because it's a it's a missile frigate that has boarding pods. Ergo, it can have lots of men inside it simultaneously. So, you know, it made sense. Uh, right. So let's have boarding a ah loud computer. Installed. Sorry, she's loud. Net loud. Um, hang on. Audio. That's a bit too loud. Command accepted. Turn that down a bit. Right. Okay. So let's navigate the net back to, back to the headquarters. Where is the headquarters? It's over at Savage Spurs. So this system over here. Uh, hang on. No aim. No. What's the auto? Just manually do it. Okay. Uh, just start flying to the headquarters. Jump device okay. So she's charging the jump drive. 20, so each of my, or at least most 40, of my corporation ships have jump drives installed. Point to point teleportation. 70, okay. 80, 90, jumping. Entering system. Savage Spur. Very good. Auto Speed up. Okay, so welcome to the corporate headquarters. So here in this asteroid field, uh, we have set up uh, what it was originally a pirate sector with very low pirate population. So for this reason, I decided to take it over and make it my corporate headquarters. And you'll see the headquarters momentarily. But effectively, uh, the, yeah, the, the navigation conditions are a bit hazardous here. But it's not too much of a problem so long as you pay attention. But... Uh, the ore field here, cons well, the, the mass asteroid field consists of various ores that can be mined along with silicon, which is very useful. I think we do actually have a silicon mine here, don't we? Did I set one up? Oh no, I tell a lie. I scanned the system, but I never set up a silicon mine. Hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to speed up. So I'm going to compress time in the cockpit to speed up time relative to me. Okay. So we're just going to float past the asteroids and then I'll show you the headquarters. Attention. Oh, One of stand by. Ships is under attack. Priest's Pity. Priest's Pity. That's over here. Deep in power, that very close, power in space. Oh, it's fine. Uh, some laser towers that I set up earlier. A laser tower grid on the edge of pirate space have just zapped down some pirates attempting to enter. We're fine. Okay, hang on. Just navigate the nep over here. So I'm doing this slow, maybe just may need to demonstrate to the people who've not seen this, which I expect there'll be quite a few. Does the ZF Clan have any plans on playing Rocket League? The ZF Clan doesn't really do plans, the Jules. But uh, we used to do uh, Rocket League pretty much once a week on Saturdays, but I don't know what the plan is now. How long does the game take to learn? This game is... Uh, impenetrable. Yeah. Completely impenetrable. I strongly recommend you stay far away from this unless you're mad, mad, mad. Yes. Thank you, the Buzz Gaming. Thank you very much, the Buzz Gaming. And Tweezel Me Weasel. <laughs> Tweezel My Weasel. Good name. Thank you very much. Right, okay. Uh, there's the headquarters. That, uh, that station thing you're seeing there. Very expensive investment there. That better not get destroyed, otherwise I'll be super angry. We do have a security force. Which is out and about right now. Where is the security force? Is it stationed here? Wings. Red wing and... Oh, yes, of course. I split it in half. Red wing and blue wing. Yeah, they are here. Red wing. It's a small group of fighters that are stationed here. We also have some frigates, I believe. Well, I'm one of the frigates. Nep's one of the frigates. Um, so, yeah, this, this place does have some defenses. It's not as if we're expecting an invasion of the Xenon. Uh, sort of the Borg, basically. There's a pirate sector nearby, but that's the main... That's it, really. Good morning, uh, SWAT Knight. Good morning. Uh, ZF Spot Knight is in the chat, everybody. <laughs> Speed up the time, relative. Right, so you'll see these green blips that are zipping around. They are my employees. Dolphin. That's Super what is Zep. That's Tank Brawl. Mercury. Dizzy Trash Panda. Dad Vite. Dolphin. Super and who's Kaiman. this? So they're all doing their own, well, their own tasks that I've assigned them. So for show the external camera. So small uh, transport vessels called the uh, Cayman. The <laughs> navig the, auto <laughs> the computer keeps calling them Caymans. It's very... R you should hear her pronounce uh, Mjolnir. <laughs> ATF. Mjolnir. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah. So the these transport pods are supplying the headquarters with whatever the headquarters needs. Although it might take me some time to remember all of the commands, frankly. Thank you, Dwyf Dw Foxall. Thank you very much. Thank you. Headquarters. Okay, so yeah, here's the headquarters. 
to show you the external, ah, hang on, what am I doing? Show you the external camera. So it's quite large, zoomed out this far, it doesn't quite give you the impression of how big this is. But can you see these arms? Each of these arms has a capital ship dot on it there. So there is a transport, well, two transport vessels, and I believe that's a carrier. Yeah, that's a carrier we've purchased. I believe that's the Aggie. Oh, hang on, so three transport vessels. So this uh, this base is a sizable cash investment for the corporation. And I'm just going to go back here and dock the NEP back aboard it and uh, then have a look and see what needs to be done around the uh, corporation because I'm sure there's many tasks. If I go over here to the list of all of our corporate assets and sort by stations, the ones blinking yellow have problems that need to be reconciled. So either, either insufficient resources in the local area or maybe the economy has been saturated with what they're selling, stuff like that. The, the ones that are green are happily chugging along making space profit for me. So yeah. In terms of amount of cash flow, we currently have, so we have 12 million in the station itself, which is being used for manufacturing purposes, and in various bank accounts around space, we have 45.1 million. Okay, not too bad, not too bad at all. So we've got like, what, just over 55 million? Yeah, although obviously that's peanuts compared to most corporations, so we need to get more uh, bear in mind that one of these, just one of these vessels uh, will cost me, like the NEP is worth about 60 million. Like, at least. The, the NEP itself, is a, the, the most expensive thing isn't the NEP, it's the, it's the missile systems that she fires. They are crazy expensive, uh, as in the, the warheads. Nuclear warheads, antimatter warheads, that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, whoo, dear me. I mean, just a single salvo breaks the bank of most small companies. So, you know. It's, it's not just it's not just a case of buying her it's arming her thank you uh, just for kicks thank you very much just for kicks okay hang on docking initiate docking procedure like the 50 million I lost yes goddamn Oros one of my employees was the Oros he had a shipping accident when he crashed into Paranid Prime shipyard destroyed the entire ship losing all of its cargo <sighs> here we go we're upside down Spinning round. All right, so there we go. The NEP is coming into dock. Following the landing lights. It's basically Star Citizen. Yes, it's an, it's an offline Star Citizen or Eve on crack. Eve on, uh, sorry, no, it's an offline Eve or an offline Star Citizen or freelancer on crack. Sorry, that's that's the how people describe it. It's a big offline play pen for you to go nuts in. Okay. Successfully docked. Welcome back on board. Connection okay, so do I have what was my player ship that I was flying around in before? Uh, I can't actually remember. Let me just have a look. So with the net docked, go to my ships. So I've got a large number of transport ships awaiting orders here at the headquarters. Oh, see, they've just been manufactured. Ah, good. I can, so I've got lots of transport ships that I can assign around space if necessary. Sorry, did I have a, 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 my own personal ship? Or was I just piggybacking on the back of a different employee? Um, shit, hang on. Go to sort ships by... Oh, uh, Ladito the Centaur. Currently stationed here. Duck Slayer, the frigate at Spring of Belief, defending it. So I've got Duck Slayer, a very expensive military frigate. Oh, yes, uh, on a pirate hunting duty. So the Nep is here. The Nep is damaged, actually. Why is she damaged? Thank you, Nico. Thank you very much, Nico. Thank you. So I just go to. Uh, where can I see the ship itself? The ship, the ship, the ship. Uh, Savage Spur. The Nep. So she's got four gigajoule shields, but her hull has been damaged. Did she have a, some sort of crash? Okay, she's got 20 marines aboard. Okay, I'm not entirely sure why the NEP is damaged, but I think... I think I can just queue up repairs, can't I? How, do, how does one do that again? Sorry, it's been a while. Um, there we go. So add to reverse engineering queue, add to the repair queue, the NEP. To be honest, it might be faster if we have external external agents do it. It'd be cheaper if we repair it. Hmm. 
Hi there, Broken. Will I do any horror games? Uh, no plans at the moment. Uh, I've kind of... There's a, a few different reasons for why horrors, uh, horror games are a bit difficult these days. Um, okay, tell you what. I'll have the net prepared externally. Uh, let's... Uh, as in, not by my headquarters, because it takes fucking forever. And it's uh, cheaper, but I don't... Uh, time. I'll, I'll pay for the time right now. I need the net operational. Thank you, Nuke A. Roach. Thank you very much, Nuke. So, hang on. Of the landed ships... So I've got my Palpatine prototype, a sort of very expensive fighter. I'll switch ships. To, right, hang on. So I switch ships over to. Wait, the Palpatine isn't docked. Oh no, it is. Sorry, the Palpatine is docked with my supply station nearby. All right, launch. Oh no, no. Sorry, tell a lie. The camera just spazzed out there. For some reason, it thought my Palpatine, this fighter craft that I'm Boring flying, was there at the Boron equipment dock. Okay, so this is my Palpatine. Uh, it's an experimental fighter that was owned by a different corporation, but they gave it to us as a gift for saving their asses. Um, I can't remember which corporation that is. Um, but yes, it's a sort of snub-nosed, very quick fighter craft. Okay, so I'm just going to fly over here to just give you an overview of what's here. So yes, as you can see, the main station here, with its hangar bays around the centre and its staff quarters, crew quarters, that sort of thing. This is one of our Argon transport ships. We don't have any carriers or, uh, yeah, we don't have carriers or destroyers yet. We've uh, only really got uh, transport ships and frigates. So there is the Aggie. It's a uh, carrier, I believe. That's the NEP. You'll notice the different ship designs, so the distinctive different aesthetics. So this is a Paranid ship. So it's all very sleek and smooth and circular. Whereas the Argon ships are quite uh, bru brutish, quite sword-like, I suppose. Well, I suppose the split would have the ones that are sword-like, but uh, yes, very similar. Well, very similar overall aesthetic for the Argon, that sort of shape, and um, that's a pirate vessel, which is why, as in the Aggie is a pirate vessel, which is why she looks put together with, you know, sticks and stones. Um, is X3 a slow game to get into? Yes, yes, Helvet. It'll take you time to get anywhere. Okay. Oh yes, and the split ships are, as in the the. Uh, what is it? Like the aggressive Klingon type uh, race. Yeah, their ships are quite literally shaped like blades. As in swords and daggers and shit. Uh, they've got a very thin front profile. Okay. So yes, yeah, so, sorry, I just, I just want to fly around and show you that. So, should I stay in the Palpatine? Um, well, hang on. First things first. Let's have Nep go and get her repairs. Thank you, Shatar. Thank you very much, Shatar. So let's go here. Sort by ships. Tell the Nep. Your orders are to dock at Paranid Prime, which is two sectors away, Docking and land at the shipyard. Command so there she goes. Accepted. So she Aris. should have... Aris. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's got sufficient uh, energy cells to make the jump. Right, so the NEP is going to initiate a point-to-point -point jump drive. And she's going to go off and get repaired. There she goes. No aim. Right, she's going to yeah head Asteroid. off to the dock, and then I'll fix her in a bit. Right, okay, so let's go and... I'm just going to get docked with Lodito. Headquarters. Uh, do I have a teleport? I do, so I can in instantly teleport into the hangar. Thank you, Shatar. Thank you. Successfully docked. Welcome back on board. How are you doing, Connection Swat Knight? You okay? Local trading network established. And uh, hi there, Axim. Hello. Right, off my landed ships. Where is the Ladito? There it is, Centaur. Uh, and then I'm going to switch to it. There we go. So it's mounted. Yeah, it's, it's on one of the lower umbilicals because it can't fit into the hangar. So this is a Corvette class vessel so it's uh smaller than a frigate larger than a fighter it's uh pretty pretty meaty it's got a pretty big cargo bay okay uh, i'm just going to disconnect from the station there we go at this umbilical you can see it's surrounded by multiple other transport ships either freshly built or pausing awaiting orders so what i says you're alive so that's nice yeah it is you plan on doing more stellaris later ah cool have fun Right. Oopsie. Wrong button. Hang on. Fuck. So this is the Corvette. As you can see, it's Argon. So can you see the can you see the overall similarities in the design? Uh to the to the previous ship. Just a sort of smaller version elongated at the front of the uh yeah, of the previous vessel. Um Right, so let's figure out where what well, yeah, what do I need to do right now then? So Space profit, so 46 million. Let me just speed up time for a minute. So you'll notice at the, at the left there, that, that value is going up and down as my various traders across space are making their own independent transactions. Not go, it's not going up as quick as I would like. So let's have a look. Oh dear, I nearly got hit by shit. 
by one of my merchants. Thank you, Biggleco. Thank you very much, Biggleco. Thank you. How's the Daisy video coming along? Yeah, so last, the last work I did on it was, I think it was October, I think. October? November. No, wait. What did I do last? I did... I did Pavlov, didn't I? And then before that, did I do a, a Daisy one? No, I did, didn't I? Before the Pavlov one, I did a Daisy one. So the last one I did was back in November, and that's part 10 of 13. And it was good, actually. I was really pleased with how that one turned out, as in a part of a, a, a series. But it's not ready for YouTube yet. But, um, yeah, it, it was good. That one was pretty good. I was quite pleased with how that turned out. So, anyway. Um, so, what, where am I needed? Just find a direction and fly, really. So, let's look through my corporation. Go through stations. I can also check on this Google Sheet over here. Hang on, let me just scroll to the top of the Google Sheet. Might need to keep both of them updated. Right, so the headquarters is here. It's being it's being manned by Social System and Des Rallis. Let me just verify that, that that is still true. Own ships, only one. Okay, uh, Des Laris is here. So mastering trade under Darkmoor recently transferred to the supply operations for the corporate headquarters. So where's Social? No orders. Okay, but where's Social? I've lost a ship. Social system. No, here he is. He's been transferred. Okay. I transferred him without updating the sheet. So where are you now? So social system Mercury Super Freighter is currently at Duke's Vision. Duke's Vision is south of Paranid Space. He's been assigned to which... Uh, returning home to Flail Barrage and Hammerhead Missile Facility. I see. So I built a flail barrage, unnamed flail barrage and hammerhead torpedo facility. So, ah, I see, I remember now. Yes, I was offline when I did it, I wasn't streaming. I built this to supply NEP. It's a station that, that's entirely for her. Because uh, missile systems are so expensive. So own ships, social. I see. Okay. So let's transfer that over to social then. Sorry, I'm just going to update the sheet. Um, okay. So social. Do I have it anywhere on this on this document? Unnamed flail barrage and hammerhead. No. Okay. So I just need to add it. Bear with me just a minute. Sorry for those. Uh, yeah, I'm just fiddling around with a um, fiddling around uh, with a Google Doc that's beneath the stream. If you're curious. But uh, I, I do this so you guys can see where everything is, but also so I can keep track of where everything is. Because otherwise I'll lose track. Um, Right, hang on. So where is that? So it's unnet. So this is going to be social systems. Social systems, flail barrage, and hammer torpedo facility at the Spring of Belief. Is that the Spring of Belief? Is it Duke's Vision? Oh, no, no yeah, I, I just didn't change the name. Okay, Duke's Vision, which is on the far south of Paranid Territory. Okay, so Social's down there. So I've moved him from the headquarters down there. So I'm just going to paste him in. And he's got two other employees. I think one of them needs a name. So I'll, give, I'll ask for a volunteer in a minute. Okay, so Master Trade under L. Darkmoor. So that's my catering operations recently transferred to primary supply operations for corporate headquarters then moved to oversee a torpedo facility in the duke's vision sector which is south of paranid space by about two so here this is paranid prime this is our home world uh, well, the, uh, the alien paranid homeworld, but we, we live there too. Um, and then one, two, three. So Duke's Vision. So it's just south by three jump gates. So it's night. It's quite close to most of the resources. Um, there's also Umlaut's Particle Accelerator Facility needs help here for some reason. Um, oh, did I not save it? Oh, no, I updated the sheet, but I didn't update it in game. Will I ever do armor bullshitteries again? Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Of course. It's just I can only do one thing at a time. Um, Xenos, and I'm just trying to keep everybody happy. Uh, okay. Ah, damn. Uh, 
flail and hammer torpedo facility. Okay, social system. Yeah, there we go. Right, so let's have a look at the status here. How's he doing? So the facility itself has seven units of flail barrage missiles ready for deployment. So, um, okay. And what about, so no hammer heavy torpedoes. Lulu. Lulu, no. Sorry, bear with me. Hey, stop growling at the cats. Don't be a little bitch. Hang on a minute. She's sitting on the back of the sofa up there, <clears throat> growling at uh, any CAT she see. Hang on, let me let me look, look see what she's looking at. What are you looking at? Huh? What are you looking at? Yeah, it's, it's a cat. She's seen a cat. Um, right, hang on. Ah. <sighs> So flail barrage missiles are still being manufactured. So the facility eats. So the crew eats soya beans, which means they're paranid, I think. So soya. Oh no, hang on. They're, they're producing them. Oh, and oh right. Hang on. I see. So let me go over there. Let me go supervise this facility. So Duke's vision. Shit! I didn't grab enough energy cells before I disconnected from the station. All right, hang on. Fly back for a minute. Get an autopilot. Headquarters. Command rejected. Too close for autopilot. Hang on. Okay, for those just joining the stream, uh, welcome. I'm just doing a bit of space profits this morning. Whoopsie, don't shoot my own station. That's expensive. The autopilot, autopilot off. Fuck, hang on. 